Hello everyone, thank you again for watching another episode of How It Works. Today I'm going to be telling you how to uh, install Windows DVD Maker to Windows 8, 10, and 11. In this demonstration we're going to be using Windows 10 since it's a uh, widely known and used operating system. So what you want to do is first start by going to the description, clicking on the OneDrive link. Once you click on the OneDrive link, you're going to have something that's going to look like this that's going to pop up. Um, now, one thing that I want to make sure that um, everybody knows is that Zungle was um, the, the lead person in regards to uh, getting this project to work. So all credits goes to Zungle. Uh, so thank you again, Zungle, for assisting me um, and allowing me to assist you in regards to being able to get this put together. Um, now, what you want to do is download the 7-zip file, dvd underscore maker underscore x64. Make sure you have a 64-bit operating system. Go ahead, click that check mark, and then hit download. Once it downloads, you're going to need to then go um, look up on Google or Bing or DuckDuckGo or whatever and look up 7-zip download. If you got to the right place, you're going to see 7-zip. You're going to see download 64-bit. Go ahead and get that downloaded. Run the installer. And this is going to decompress that file that you had downloaded from a OneDrive. So if everything went smoothly, what we want is this. Go down or go to your downloads folder. You have the DVD underscore maker and you have the 7-zip file, so you've already installed 7-zip. Go ahead, right click, go to 7-zip, extract to DVD underscore maker underscore x64, and just let it do its thing real quick. All right, so now you're gonna have a folder here and you're gonna double click it. First thing that I'd like to do is go ahead, this is totally optional, and that is to install Windows Media Center. So I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows Media Center. And the reason why is just because of the codex. It also installs DVD player. Once it's done installing, you can simply just hit exit by pressing any button, and then that's done. And then what I typically like to do is go to additional tools, go ahead, right click, go to run as administrator, go ahead and install it, and then what we want to do is go ahead, go to next, simple install. Go ahead to enable internal decoder. Make sure to select both. Select all videos, select all audios. Select all videos, select all audios again. Once we're done, go ahead, hit install, let it do, it, let it do its thing. All right, so after that, once you click finish, then what we're going to do is go to additional tools, 
right click here, run as administrator, and make sure that you launch this program, click yes which for the purpose of, of this video I'm going to instead of just right clicking and running the install uh, batch file um, as administrator I'm going to go ahead and click browse I'm going to go to the downloads folder double click on the folder go to install click open click OK and so basically this makes you into like an ultimate administrator to where you can be able to register the DLL files as you can see here. Take ownership, replace the DLL files, create shortcuts, and then done. Once you're done, go ahead and click quit. Now you have all the codecs. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows Media Player 11 and technically this replaces Windows Media Player uh, 12. So I'm going to go ahead, double click here, run this as administrator, go to Browse, go to the Downloads folder, go to the DVD Maker, Windows Media Player 11, and then install Windows Media Player 11. Click OK. And let it do its thing. All right, and perfect. So after that's done, click quit, and then next thing you're you're going to see under your start menu, Windows DVD Maker, and Windows Media Center and Windows Media Player. And so there we have it. We have Windows Media Player 11, Grip, Burn, Sync, uh, again using Windows Media Player. You also have Windows DVD Player for Windows 10. So when you're done burning your DVD, you can be able to play it in this. And we have Windows DVD Maker. You don't get the Windows Media Player error when it pops up. Like if you were to try to do a copy and paste from Windows uh, 7 to Windows 10. And go ahead, select different files and stuff. And here we go. Click next. You can edit certain options, change the menus. Just like you did in Windows 7. And then once you're done, click burn, and it's actually gonna work due to the fact that the DLL files has been registered and replaced. I don't have a burner uh, sync to the desktop to be able to do the burn. But you can actually see that you can manipulate the software, be able to go in, change uh, change certain settings, uh, be able to customize the menu, um, be able to do the slideshow, you know, so add music, do things like that, do a quick preview. So things like that. So you can actually interact with the preview and it automatically does it. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, now in case if you need any additional help, uh, reach out through my Discord, which there, there's going to also be a link in the description. Um, and again, I'll, I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.